have to rescue a casualty through knots. And what we're going to demonstrate now is, is how to do this effectively. Um, in this instance where the ropes are, have quite a bit of excess on the ground, we're going to show you this particular technique. So on the backup line, we're going to abseil down till the knots are about a, a metre away or a metre and a half away. We're going to isolate this damaged bit of rope. We'll tie another alpine butterfly. Be very careful to capture the original damaged bit of rope inside this alpine butterfly. Then we can re-thread it so it's up nice and high. And what we've just created here is another rope with no obstructions that we can now transfer onto on another descending device. We have another descending device here ready to go. Load that up onto the spare rope, onto the, the backup rope. And as you can see, there's no more obstructions here. Now if we transfer slightly onto this rope so that we're evenly loading both of the ropes, once this is loaded, we can then take off this backup device, transfer it over to the other rope, and then continue descending all our weight onto the new rope, onto the backup, what well, was the backup rope. And effectively, we've passed the, the knot on one of the ropes. Now, if we had another, another bit of damaged rope and another knot in the existing rope, all we simply do is bypass that with a spare backup device. a little bit further place the spare backup device underneath the knot and then we're clear <laughs> 